Hey everybody. Okay. So I am going to be making this llama linda vegetable scallops. Um if anybody ever had this before, um feel free to comment below and let me know what you think about it. Do you like the texture? Do you like the taste? Um maybe what seasoning you use or what you even made it with. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make this usually when I make this, um, and I love how this tastes. I don't like regular scallops, but I love how this tastes. Usually when, um, I make this, I coat it in flour and all that. I'm not sure if I'm going to really do that this time, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to just stir fry it, um, with some red pepper that I have back here and some green onions and probably some uh hmm something else I'm not sure and i'm gonna also make it with um vegas citrus ribs so i want to try this um citrus rib cutlets so i want to try this um and see how it tastes and also wait i'm gonna make some quinoa so this quinoa is the roasted red pepper and basil all right so what i'm gonna do is open this first let me get a can opener i already washed the top so i'm gonna open this okay Ooh, i hurt my hands y'all so this kind of hurts a little bit um twisting it like this but i'll be all right okay so this is how it looks kind of reminds me of a tofu to be honest with you this is this is how it looks you know this is it and um what i'm gonna do is drain the water out okay and i'll be right back okay guys so here it is this is it drained out the water that it was in okay and i'm just you know loosening them apart those that are sticking together and so i never did it without using flour but i'm going to do it today okay so what i'm gonna do is season this okay let me get my seasons hold on okay y'all so um, the only ingredients I am going to use is black pepper. I'm going to just add some black pepper to this. Okay. Add some black pepper. And I'm going to add Creole um, blended seasoning. I'm not going to add onion powder and garlic powder because this actually has all of that in there. And, um... So, yeah, I'm just going to leave that out for this, okay? I'm going to add this in here. And this also has salt in there ready. So, um, I'm going to add a little bit of double, but not a lot, okay? Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And, uh, and I'm also going to add a little bit. You know, my favorite parsley flakes. I am. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold on one second. A little bit of some olive oil to this. Okay. And then we're going to just mix this up. Guys, my hands are washed. Um, and I'm not cooking for anybody but myself. So just mixing this up to make sure, oops, that it gets coated well. Okay. And then I'm going to just sit. This is it. I'm going to sit it on the side. Okay, so now that I have that to the side, I'm going to just cut up. This red pepper here. Okay. Um.
All right, y'all. So I'm going to use my wok for this since I'm going to do a stir fry ish. And what I'm going to do, I have it on 420, I believe. Just add some oil in here, okay? And let that heat up some. And um, I love using this wok, you know, it's easy to clean. Very, very easy to clean. Okay, and I'm just going to get here. And see how that is. Give it a little bit more time. Yeah, and it heats up really quick. Okay, let's see. Yep, see that? All right, so I'm going to put all of this in here, okay, y'all? And I'm going to just let it cook. Okay. Okay, so these are cooking. I had it this way. Like I said before, I always put it in some flour. And then I have um, like frying. So, let them cook. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to add the peppers in there, okay? The peppers, the scallion, and the onion, stuff like that. I'm going to add that. Let that cook the rest of the way. With this. Smells really good, though. I'll tell you that. I was like, you know, what am I going to cook and eat? You know, I'm off, and you know, usually Saturdays is the day that I do my meal prep to get ready for the week. Fridays is my chill day. You know, what are y'all doing y'all days off or y'all weekends? What do y'all do? Let me know down below in the comments. Me, I gotta cook. Because if I don't cook, I'm going to eat junk food. And I don't want to eat junk food, you know. I, I try to really stay away from that um, as much as possible. So, um, yeah. The milk pack, you know. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. Um depending on what you're actually prepping, but it um, it helps you in the long run, you know, um, portioning, you know, and all of that, um, so, but this is not a makeup, this is my dinner for tonight, and probably tomorrow. So I am going to add a little bit of loose garlic. Mix that around. So I find out because, you know, it's not like I make vegan or vegetarian things like every single day or whatever, you know, I, you know, I, I know of the health food store because, you know, I used to eat some of their things, you know, so, but I found out they have the vegan, um, you know how we cook with chicken broth, beef broth, they actually have that beef broth and chicken broth for vegans, and I did not know that. Like what? Oh, now I'm gonna just add a little bit of sesame oil, okay? And just mix that around. 
smelling really good, y'all. And I'm really just about done with this. Today is actually Friday. The 28th, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. Let me take one of these real quick and just taste a little bit. Oh, it's nice and tender. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. And guys, it's done just like that. It is done. Let me show y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to try this vegan citrus spare rib cutlet. Okay. That you see here. And I decided to use that in the wok as well. Why not? I'm not going to add anything. It already has its own sauce. So I'm going to just add everything in here as is. A little bit of olive oil. And you don't have to add anything in there. It's already seasoned and all of that. You just got to basically you're like warming it up guys like for real <laughs> but this is this is um this is in plum vinegar sauce which is definitely different than what i used to eat before so yeah but i taste it and it's good. And if that's what the sauce will, you know, came like last time, the way they used to sell it, then I never know because I ain't see that on there. But I'm gonna just take this out, put it to the side. For right now. Alright y'all, so I decided to use my wok and I left whatever seasoning was in there. Um, I was like, I can make my quinoa in here too. So what I'm going to do is just add two cups of water in here. Okay. Two cups of water. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm not going to add any seasoning. I usually do, but I'm not because... The stuff that I made already has enough seasoning and salt on there, okay? So, um, I'm going to add the quinoa in here, okay? And I'm going to add the pack of roasted peppers and basil and stuff. That comes with it in there. I'm gonna add that, okay? And just gonna stir this up. You know, this like I made rice in here before. <laughs> I was like, let me try. And um, it actually came out. I didn't know it would. It came out great. So hey, why not do the quinoa here, right? I ain't gotta dirty up a whole bunch of stuff, which I what which was what I was about to do, my bad. I'm here, tongue twisted and all of that. So yeah, and just let that cook. And then I'll cover it when it goes down. The clean up part. I need somebody to clean up after I'm done. Don't y'all agree? Let me know if y'all agree down below in the comments. Come on, talk to me, y'all. Let me know. So you're just gonna let that boil and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now um, it's cooking down, so I'm going to turn it on low. Turn it on low, and I'm going to just cover it up and let it finish cooking. And we'll be back. 
All right, y'all, I'm going to uncover this, and let's see what's up with this quinoa. Oh, and I'm so sorry, y'all. It is quinoa and brown rice mix. I didn't even read it. and I, well, I didn't see it <laughs> to read it. Um, Yeah, I didn't even know that's what I had got, but yeah. Let's taste. Make sure it's ready. I feel like I could add a little bit more water, which I am going to do. Hold on one second. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. Let it cook a little bit more. Usually, I, ne I never add more water, but I don't know. Maybe because I made, I never made this quinoa in um, the wok, but... Um, I made regular rice in the wok, but I don't know. But I added more water, and I'm going to just let it cook up. So, All right, guys. Let's see. Because it's not supposed to be grainy. There we go. But that's just weird. This is when I cook it in my regular pot. I only use two cups of water. Hmm. All right, well, this is done, y'all. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm ready to dish out the food. I put the... I put the rice in that little container right there. And what I am going to do now... I mean, contain that little bowl or whatever you want to call it, guys. I don't know. I'm going to now put... the scallops Thank y'all guys for watching and if you have any vegan ideas feel free to let me know in the description comment below and let me know okay um, and don't forget to like share comment subscribe press that notification bell and stay tuned for some more videos time to eat